all scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for, for instruction, instruction in righteousness, righteousness, that the man of Yah may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. This is Watchman of Yah. Smyrna, Revelation 2, 8 through 11. Write this letter to the angel of the church in Smyrna. This is the message from the one who is the first and the last, who was dead but is now alive. I know about your suffering and your poverty, but you are rich. I know the blasphemy of those opposing you. They say they are Jews, but they are not, because their synagogue belongs to Satan. Don't be afraid of what you are about to suffer. The devil will throw some of you into prison to test you. You will suffer for ten days, but if you remain faithful even when facing death, I will give you the crown of life. Anyone with ears to hear must listen to the real Kakodesh and understand what she is saying to the churches. Whoever is victorious will not be harmed by the second death. What is the second death? Revelation 20, starting from 4. Then I saw thrones, and the people sitting on them have been given the authority to judge. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their testimony about Yahushua, and for proclaiming the word of Yah. They had not worshipped the beast or his statue, nor accepted his mark on their foreheads or their hands. They all came to life again, and they reigned with Yahushua for a thousand years. This is the first resurrection. The rest of the dead did not come back to life until the thousand years had ended. Blessed and holy are those who share in the first resurrection. For them, the second death holds no power, but they will be priests of Yahweh and of Yahushua HaMashiach and will reign with him a thousand years. When a thousand years came to an end, Satan will be let out of his prison. He will go out to deceive the nations called Gog and Magog in every corner of the earth. He will gather them together for battle, a mighty army, as numberless as sand along the seashore. And I saw them as they went up on the broad plain of the earth and surrounded God's people and the beloved city. But fire from heaven came down on the attacking armies and consumed them. Then the devil, who had deceived them, was thrown into the fiery lake of burning sulfur, joining the beast and the false prophet. There they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. And I saw a great white throne, and the one sitting on it, the earth and sky fled from his presence, but they found no place to hide. I saw the dead, both great and small, standing before Yahweh's throne. And the books were opened, including the book of life. And the dead were judged according to what they had done, as recorded in the books. The sea gave up its dead, and death and the grave gave up their dead. And all were judged according to their deeds. Then death and the grave were thrown into the lake of fire, this lake of fire is a second death, and anyone whose name was not found recorded in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is a second death for all who are victorious who do not take the mark of the beast or worship his image. This is not for them. The books that are open are the book of life, the book of the damned, and the book of the blotted out. In the book of life are written the names of the souls who are saved from before the foundation of this earth, in the book of the damned are those who chose against God and are not saved from before the foundation of this earth. In the book of the blotted out are names of those who were saved but fell away from the faith. So it is possible for one to lose their salvation. Contrary to what the popular pastors will have you to believe, these promises to the victorious are an encouragement for those who are going to go through the great tribulation, which has begun. Thus, we are getting closer to that great persecution part. Be ready in your heart, mind, and soul to suffer persecution for the sake of Yahushua HaMashiach. You need a good mindset concerning this because it is an honor. Because Yahushua is worth whatever you have to go through in order to spend eternity with him in his kingdom and in a new earth. Do not be afraid of what you are about to go through. Be zealous and be passionate. Whatever it is the children of the devil put the children of Yahweh through, understand that this time and season is allowed by Yahweh. And though the Antichrist will be able to fight war against the saints and prevail for a moment, Yahweh sets limits on everything the devil has permission to do. Here it is written as 10 days, and even though it will be a difficult time, you who are captured will be able to be victorious through the name and blood of Yahushua Mashiach 
and with the anointing of the real Kakodesh. Because everyone who is saved at any point in time has the real Kakodesh living inside of them. And yes, suffering for the sake of Yahushua is an anointing. Being able to not deny Yahushua during such trials is an anointing. According to the Sermon on the Mount, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see Yahweh. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of Yah. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. During your walk with Yahushua, you are going to have the opportunity to experience these things since you belong to Yahushua and the servant is not greater than a master, especially during the great persecution of the great tribulation. By experiencing these things, you are closer to Yahushua because Yahushua experienced much more than this on earth and as a sacrificial lamb. Furthermore, Revelation 13, 5 through 10, then the beast was allowed to speak great blasphemies against God. And he was given authority to do whatever he wanted for 42 months. And he spoke terrible words of blasphemy against God, slandering his name and his dwelling, that is, those who dwell in heaven. And the beast was allowed to wage war against Yahweh's holy people and to conquer them. And he was given authority to rule over every tribe and people and language and nation. And all the people who belong to this world worship the beast. They are the ones whose names were not written in the book of life that belongs to the Lamb who was slaughtered before the world was made. Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Anyone who is destined for prison will be taken to prison. Anyone destined to die by the sword will die by the sword. This means that Yahweh's holy people must endure persecution patiently and remain faithful. That is predestination, by the way. If you are hearing what the real HaKodesh is saying to the children of Yah, then you know Smyrna Church is not isolated to a certain group of people or just the Jewish believers at some point in history. This is for the times we live in, for the guests who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb, for the bride of Revelation 7 will be here on earth but will not be captured or go through this in the same way as the guests are. The guests are the majority of the people. Those who survived the three and a half year countdown which has not begun and those who were beheaded for the sake of Yahushua HaMashiach, according to that same chapter, Revelation 7, there are 144,000 who are part of the Revelation 7 bride of Yahushua HaMashiach. The Revelation 14 bride, which is in Revelation chapter 14, is also 144,000. So altogether, that is 288,000 who make up the bride of Yahushua HaMashiach. The current population is around 7 or 8 billion. Let's not forget over half the population is not human as well. It has been thought that those added into the 12 tribes of Israel were Israeli men, but the bride of Yahushua is made up of men, women, and children who are obedient to Yahushua and completely pleasing to Yahweh just like Enoch was. Everyone who is saved is part of the holy Israel because Yahushua is also a Jew and his blood is what saves us. We are like Yahushua HaMashiach, a Jew, spiritually speaking. However, this does not take away from the fact that Yah made a promise to physical Israel and will keep it. We in no way replace biological Jews and a promise Yahweh made to those who will be saved and are also biologically Jewish. Israel is going to get regrafted back into their original branch by the time they all cry out for Yahushua HaMashiach to save them. But spiritually speaking, we are grafted into the Jewish bloodline of the Messiah, and this came at the expense of Israel, who have largely rejected the Messiah, Yahushua, thus far. So, no, those mentioned in Revelation 7 are not only biological Jews, they are also spiritual Jews and placed into whatever tribe Yah has placed them in. Now that you know that you're following a Jewish Messiah, it should make more sense why you should be taking things like the Sabbath seriously. Other than the fact that Yahushua himself obeyed the Sabbath. The majority of the Christians expecting to be raptured are, in fact, the guests. 
you're being set up for a great deception, statistically speaking. No one who attends a Sunday church by the time Yahushua comes will be raptured. The bride, as represented in the parable of the five wise virgins, are waiting for Yahushua on a Sabbath. Yahushua says he will return on a Sabbath. So if you're out having fun or working on the Sabbath, then you are not even watching and waiting for Yahushua to begin with, and that will make you a foolish virgin. Thus, Yahushua comes like a thief. Eventually, no one who belongs to Yahushua will attend a Sunday church because the Antichrist will have commanded everyone to worship him there, and those who go will take his mark and worship his images. Therefore, you are warned not to go there at all, because this will happen to everyone who goes once this becomes a law, and it will be a worldwide law. Anyone who disobeys it will be put to death, just like in the book of Maccabees. Daniel prophesied that an evil ruler would change God's times and laws, and that was not a one-time occurrence. It happened in the rule of Antiochus, and it happened in Rome during the persecution of the first century church under Nero. And once Rome accepted Christianity, they changed the times, which are Yahweh's holy days, including Yah's holy day of rest, the weekly Sabbath. They swapped them out with their pagan holidays so that the people at that time would easily accept Christianity. And they changed other things as well, such as the name of God. They just decided to give him a generic name and call him God when his name is Yahweh. And they changed the name of the son of Yah. They changed it to Jesus. This is something we talked about on this channel, but you should research it yourself for your own understanding. And we warn that there will come a time when Abba Yahweh will not answer any prayers in the name of Jesus. We told you why. It's because the Antichrist will be using that name and deceiving people in that name. Yah shares his glory with no man or idol. Therefore, you will have to pray to Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahushua, to get your prayers heard. And you will need this for the new breed of evil that is coming on earth, such as the zombies. And also, if you are not saved at that time and want to get saved, you'll have to use the name Yahushua, because no prayers will be answered in the name of Jesus. Now, people tend to get upset about this message. And I say to such a person, it's your choice. But at this point, you can't blame God for not warning you. And that, in many cases, is the point of warning. When you pray in that name at the time the Antichrist is using it, he will answer the prayer. A lot of people are going to be surprised that it's not God answering them. Their faith will be tested by that one thing alone. Plus, those who think God's job is to give them riches and make them happy and find themselves in the end-time scenario they thought they were escaping will not be able to ignore the reality anymore. They will be surprised, wondering why this is happening. Now you know what's happening. All praise, honor, and glory for this message goes to the Holy Trinity, Abba Yahweh, Yahushua, and the Ruach HaKodesh, a.k.a. Shekinah Glory, a.k.a. the Holy Spirit. Remember, Remember the, the Lord, Lord chastises, chastises, which is to correct those He loves. If this message is a blessing to you, like and subscribe and share with someone you love.